hello to those of you who were bored enough to come to this side of the internet. Um, as you can imagine, I'm terrible with introductions, but clearly I'm going to be playing through Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Um, this is mostly going to be in preparation for Hacker's Memory, which I had every intention of playing and even recording footage of, but I figured it'd probably be a little inconsistent to do that without doing the original first, even though I have played this game before. But I'll be playing it again for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> so let's get into it. I hope you'll have as much fun as I will. I like this game. So let's get started. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna start a new game, obviously. <laughs> I'm not gonna continue from where I left off, because I already... Let's continue. <laughs> okay, so... Music volume... Effect volume... Voice volume... I might turn the voices down a little, because they're all Japanese anyway. So, 90% of it will be reading. I think 70 is good. Um, unless you're kind of going to want to have to hear me talk anyway. Or maybe you don't want to, but I'm assuming if you're still here, you want to. <laughs> uh, we'll show the mini-map. Show partner Digimon. Show the cutscenes. That's like half the fun. Digimon voices. We'll keep that on. Now for battle difficulty... Well, to make a long story short, I'll put it on hard and... If it gets to be too much, I'll change it, because I think, I do believe, if I remember correctly, you can change this um, mid-game if you don't like it. So we'll start hard, and if it's too hard, we'll make it easy. So we'll start with these settings. Begin, yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention... Um, I'll stay pretty quiet during cutscenes like these. Tell, 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 tell,
Totally not suspicious. And so the chatting continued. So real quick, so like I just said a while ago, cutscenes like that, I'll try and stay quiet during it. Probably be a huge mess if I tried to talk over um, what was going on anyway. And character dialogue, like most of the dialogue, the characters sort of speak over it, even though it is Japanese and subbed, but I'll stay quiet during that too. Usually if it's sort of, if talking to NPCs or something, I might read that out, but cutscenes and most of like the sort of skit animations, you'll kind of see what I mean by that in a second. Um, I'll usually stay quiet for those. Other than that, I'll try and talk as much as I can. So Aquino and Blue Box went on with their late night gab fest, and as always, topics were loose with no real focus. Eventually, dawn broke outside their windows. That was the day they were finally going to meet in Eden. They spent the day much as they did the day before, and then the appointed time drew near. Like that, where no one was talking. I'll read it. Okay, so you. Here, I mean, this is you, the character, so you, we'll pick our gender, and the name. Um, now, actually, what I'm going to do here, <laughs> because last time I played the game, I did play as the guy, and uh, against my better judgment, just to change things up, I will use the girl this time. <laughs> um... Now, as far as names go, please enter a name. Uh, yeah, one thing you'll quickly realize about me, I'm not the most creative person on Earth. Um, hmm. And I could try something fancy. I could just give her a regular... What? Cindy? Sydney? <laughs> I don't know. Actually, while well, I'm on S... Shoot, I mean, she's wearing a lot of yellow. <laughs> I think that works. <laughs> yeah, I'll log in with that. <laughs> こそ電脳空間の楽園エデンへエデンはメタバースにおいて革新的なサービスの数々を提供する新世代型デジタルコンテンツです商品部からエーダなどの各種エンターテインメント企業間の商取引から行政機関の手続きまで皆様のニーズ
上城エンタープライズが運営しておりますto Eden. This is where we promised to meet. I'm here a little earlier than we'd agreed on. I'm guessing Aquino and Blue Box still aren't here. So what I was saying is, scenes like these, like this is the exception, but usually characters would be like talking over this. So if that's the case, I might, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't speak over it, but you know, if all silent and there's text, I'll probably recite the text. <laughs> This will be the first time I've met them outside a chat room. I don't know what their avatars look like though, but I should be able to figure it out. I'll try making small talk with the Eden avatars in the area. See? Doing detective work already. <laughs> um, so, I guess... The... From... I mean, just using prior knowledge from when I played the game before and now... I, I sort of deduced that this area, this Eden area, was like, I guess, say Facebook or like a social interface, but, you know, virtual reality. You can physically see the person interact with them, because, as you'll see later on in the game, the place does have forums and stuff like that, so... That's my two cents on the issue. I'm logged in from abroad. It's all thanks to Eden that I can keep up with my buddies. See, stuff like this, where if we're talking to NPCs and, like, you know, text comes up. That's cool, man. You do you. Look there. No, don't be obvious. It's a hacker. You shouldn't get too close. Oh, that guy? <laughs> First instinct. Talk to him. And he has nothing to say. Dot, dot, dot. Anxious father, Digivices log into Eden and the voice features are handy. Still, maybe my daughter's too young for one. I'm worried about security. Mm, most people her age have a phone. I don't know about that. <laughs> and I guess anyone who has any prior knowledge of Digimon you know, usually the Digivices are usually specifically given to the main characters, and that's what they use to evolve their Digimon and such. It looks like in this game, everyone has a Digivice, and they use that to get in here. Even though not everyone might have a Digimon, but, you know. They kind of touch on that stuff later, so I'm gonna just shut up now. <laughs> Today I'm logging in from a top-class salon in... Oh, Jesus. R R Rapogny? <laughs> probably butchered that. Both the service and the avatar management are first rate. I've been to Shinjuku and Shibuya Eden spots, but the login areas and cafes were packed and what's more filthy, I deserve better. Filthy? How's a virtual... Oh, and, oh, she means like the real world... Okay. I thought she meant like the virtual area. I was like, how's a... She probably meant like the real world like spot to log in. I'm assuming that's what she meant. So you can use access points to get to areas with connections that are always live, but to go any place else you'll need the URL. So this place uses URLs just like the internet. Okay. Um, who exactly am I supposed to be talking to? That's what I'd like to know. What does this man have to say? Even though I'm in the digital world, <laughs> my avatar looks just like the real me. I know it's supposed to cut down on crime, but it still sucks. Okay, so another thing, yeah, I, I believe avatars here, they're supposed to look exactly, or very closely resemble what you look like in real life. I think that's like a rule over here. 
And you'll also be collecting these little medals too, which don't really serve any purpose. They're just there if you're a completionist and you're into that stuff. Looking for your friend, if they're not here, did you try looking in the community area? It's an open area just like the entrance, so you can get there from any terminal. Okay, so he was the one we needed to talk to then. Uh, so yeah, we just step on those circles and this is the, well, it tells you. Moving in Eden, use the directional buttons to choose a destination. If there are new areas that you can go to, they will be indicated with new. Air quotes. <laughs> Selecting log out from the options on the left will return you to the point you use to yeah, access Eden. Well, it's the beginning of the game, we can't really log out. So, yeah. Wait a second. I haven't found them yet, I'll try Okay, so I, there's still one more person I had to talk to then. He didn't have the answer I sought. Did I talk to this guy already? Nowadays being able to work at a company's Eden branch is a huge status symbol. I'm sure it is. <laughs> it's fine, it's no more running than Jim. It's just an avatar so it won't affect his muscles, but it'll be good image training, no? Yeah, it's a little shallow though. I'd rather go run in real life and actually see it. I mean... Girl looking for a friend. Where is she? I was supposed to meet my friend ages ago, but I don't see her anywhere. Okay. Restless female say, my friend's late. I wonder if there's a problem with her access point. The public ones are better but expensive, so she usually logs in from home. Okay. So, obviously it was no one up here. I spoke to this guy already. Did I speak to this guy? I believe so. Yeah, unhappy businessman. <laughs> unhappy businessman. What about this chick? Nervous woman, what now? I don't know, what now? That's all she has to say. <laughs> Did I speak to this guy? I don't think so. Heard a rumor there's a ghost going around Eden. If you ask around, you'll hear stories about the white boy. <laughs> okay, but if you look real close, the facial texture's all messed up. The arms and legs are slimy tentacles. Its real form is the demon of the creeping darkness. It comes up to your avatar and snaps it up. Chomp, chomp. <laughs> okay. That's the rumor, anyway. Okay. Cool story. <laughs> Knowledgeable dude. You can use access points to get... Any... I already spoke to this guy, I'm pretty sure. Did I speak to her? Yep. Because she had that thing I couldn't pronounce. I don't think I spoke to him, but whatever. I'm kind of just trying to move on now. For any errands at the bank or post office, the forms can all be taken here in Eden. This really is a world of convenience. So you can do your banking here, I'm assuming. I wouldn't be surprised. This entrance to one of the large snobby. There's even a pavilion further in. Have you heard of pavilions? Pavilions are places where companies can safely and securely do business over Eden. Unfortunately, they aren't open to the public. I mean, if you're doing business like that in a virtual world, I wouldn't really expect that to be public. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking, who did I not talk to? I don't think I spoke to this guy. Huh, what? Oh, fine, be like that. That round thing with the arrows, the access point, you can use it to travel around to Eden. Oh, all I had to do was talk to him. <laughs> okay, there doesn't seem to be any avatars like them. I guess I showed up too early after all. There's still time left before our meeting. I should check out some of the other areas. Okay, fine. 
let's go to another area. It should open up that other area, though. Yep. So now there's a community area we can go to. I see that item. I saw that item. <laughs> okay. This is the community area. I like this place. It's quiet and relaxed. My Digivice's talk feature is getting a call. Who could it be? Huh? Hey there, it's me, Mr. Navit. Or is it Navit? Um, just one sec. You're behind schedule, silly. You're gonna be late after we just said we had time. Hurry up, come to the Galacta Park in Kowloon. Your two friends have arrived a little while ago and are waiting for you. I have a gift for you all, but everyone has to be there first. Bye bye Yeah, so much for having a little time. Kowloon, isn't that the dangerous area full with hackers? I mean, I don't know why I'd panic. The guy looked pretty suspicious to me. What should I do? I have to hurry. Anyway, the others are waiting for me. I'd better hurry to... Yeah, Galacta Park in Kowloon. I was wondering if I pronounced that wrong. I've never even been anywhere near Kowloon. How do I get there? There might be someone here who knows how to get to Galacta Park in Kowloon. I'd better ask around. You got the keyword Galacta Park. Okay, so, well, yeah. It's like I prepare to explain these things and then I forget that the game does it for you. During conversation, you will hear keywords. Keywords you hear will be marked with a lock icon. This means that you can ask a character about that keyword. If you ask about the right keywords, the lock will open and you will learn some new information. It reminds me, they had something similar like this in Final Fantasy 2, although I never beat it, but where you'd like get like a certain like keyword or special word and you'd say that certain characters to try and progress the story because they'd be like, oh yeah, I know about that or some, something like that. Um, which I never got anywhere near to finishing it, but I played enough of it to remember it had that feature. Okay, I couldn't pick that up for a second. So I'll just ask around. Is that the latest Digivice? Sweet, if I had one, I could do so much. How'd you get in here then? I thought they said you had to... So the term Digivice stands for... Digital d -Jer Standard Terminal? My buddy's cousin's friend said so? Okay. I thought they just said you needed a Digivice to get in here though. So, did he borrow someone's or... I don't know. I found a sparkly thing at the end of the street and then I saw something awesome. Okay. Sorry, anyone? Who, yeah. That monument's a miniature of Eden. It is? Never noticed that the... What monument? This thing? Oh, yeah, like the closed-up spherical... Yeah, okay. Got Minomon metal. Okay, this guy has one of the locks over his head, so... Kinda busy here. So I'll ask about the park. What? You want to go to Kowloon? But why? It's lawless and filled with hackers. Besides, if that's what you're into, we're done here. Go talk to a hacker if you want to know about it. There's a hacker-looking thug near the entrance. Don't blame me for your foolish decisions. Grow up and take responsibility for yourself. What are you, my father? <laughs> sure sound like it. Okay. So we go back to the entrance, and I'm assuming we're going to talk to the guy in the orange. Yeah. Ask about that. More dots. I want to go to Galacta Park in Kowloon. That's what you think you want, isn't it? 
I'm pretty sure that's what I said. I'll show you the way. This is the URL to their area. Take it. Okay. I got the URL. Now I can go to Kowloon. Okay, I'm actually, what I'm going to do, because I'm going to try and keep these parts pretty short, because I don't want to have it drawn out for like an hour, or even a little less than that, next thing you know, I mean, I get people, I mean, time's a factor, my attention span is quite short too, so I might end things here, and we'll pick right back up from here in the next part, so I'll see you then.